Welcome back to my channel. Sorry if you can hear. It's wild outside. It's windy as. I've got a little haul for you guys. I thought I haven't done just a generic haul in a while. I want to be able to sit down and say to you guys, hey, I've got a Disney haul. But I haven't been to the Disney store in a while and most of my Disney YouTubers I watch on here, they haven't really been posting saying, oh, this place has got this and that. So it was last weekend I said to my mum, I'm having Disney withdrawal symptoms. It's February. It's now March when I'm filming this. And I haven't bought anything from Disney. So my mum took me to the Disney store in Livingston and I got a few pieces so I'll start off and I'll show you them first. So I got two t-shirts. I am so, I don't know why none of my YouTubers are talking about Disney so I'll be a YouTuber and talk about Disney. Disney store has went through a huge transformation. I knew it was going to. This time last year there was you know hushed whispers about there's going to be more merchandise for adults and now there definitely is. Like, there was a whole section, it was called uh, Gifts for Grown Ups and specifically they have so much clothes for grown ups and I had a sneak peek online as well so if you can't get out just go and look online. They have got hundreds and hundreds of really nice clothes, all for adults, all for adults. So I'm really excited um, and I bought two new t-shirts because I haven't been in a while and I thought, why not? Where will you be looking at tomorrow morning? What one is this? Ah. So the first one we have here is Mary Poppins inspired. It's just a plain white t-shirt and then in dark blue writing it says, let's go fly a kite and it has a kite on it and then it's got like we kind of fluffy, tufty bits. I think they are supposed to be, you know how when you fly a kite and you get like little bows on the, the string on the end. I just thought this was really, really cute. It's not too in your face. Um, I'm going to be honest, I'm not the biggest Mary Poppins fan, like merchandise, which is the film as well. The film's okay, but I wouldn't go gaga for it. Like I never seen it in the cinema because I wasn't really interested. But the song Let's Go Fly a Kite is probably one of my favourite Mary Poppins songs. I'm always singing it and I just thought the top was really cute and I liked the wee fluffy bit and I'm probably not the only one who thought the top was really cute because this was the last one in my size but I have seen this online, you can buy it online. And it was only £18 as well so really cute, can't wait to wear that. Let's go fly a kite up to the highest heights. The next t-shirt I got, my mum was nearly running away with. It's totally my mum. If you can't see, it is Tinkerbell. She's in a pose, she's got her hands under her chin posing away and her wings are like big chunky sequences. When I was in a Disney shop I could actually see the light reflect off the sequences and they're really nice to feel. So both Disney tops I've got actually have like tactile bits on them which is really good. I always like to find the tactile bit because Tinkerbell herself isn't tactile, it's just her wings. Um, I love Tinkerbell. Again, I'm not I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. I'm not the biggest Peter Pan fan. In fact, I don't really like Peter Pan at all. The only aspect of Peter Pan I like is Tinkerbell. Everything else I'm not interested in. Tinkerbell is sassy and cute. And my mum loves Tinkerbell. She was nearly buying one as well. And I was like, no, mine. And she was £18 as well. There was millions of other stuff in the Disney store that I've seen. There was like wellies and hoodies and honestly they've got so much more things and you should go and pay a visit. It gets me really excited. I wish I could go back but I think spending, um, buying two t-shirts is enough. 
the last couple of things I have to show you are lush but I wanted to talk about this thing that just arrived so you guys know I love my candles well I've recently got into a new candle organisation called Darcy's Candles and they're actually based in Scotland which is funny because the woman um, Facebook account I have I'll link her down below her name is um our Facebook page is Darcy's Candles with Nicola, so her name's Nicola. I think she's actually from England, which is funny considering the, the company's from Scotland. But I'd never heard of this candle company before, and back at Christmas they were doing Snow Fairy scent, and I thought, right, I'm going to have to give this a shot, because I love Snow Fairy, and I was like, people kept saying, it smells exactly like Snow Fairy, bought some, I'm not even joking. You know I'm brutally honest with you guys. Uh, Snow Fairy wax melts by Darcy's candles smell exactly like Snow Fairy. I mean exactly. Unfortunately, they don't have any right now because it was a Christmas limited edition. But Nicola might have some extra stock. The last time I spoke to her, she had some reed diffusers in Snow Fairy. So you never know. Anyway. I wanted to give some of their other scents a shot, so I seen online a while ago she had Pama Violet. So this is what this is, it's Pama Violet Wax Melt. And again, I literally just sniffed them 10 minutes ago, they smell exactly like Pama Violet. I can't see, but if I imagine them to be like light purple. And they're soy wax as well, but yeah, they smell exactly. Pama Violets. They also do other sweet fragrances like Pear Trops, um, Drumstick Lollies and there was another one but I can't remember and, and they do um, Pink Gin. They do lots of different scents. This is definitely my kind of scent because you know I like food scents. Yeah, cannot wait to light it. And this was only about £5 and you get like eight wax melts so they're really really good considering like you know yankee candle i'm so over yankee candle like one yankee candle wax melt is like three pounds and it they don't even they don't have palm of violet scent let's just say that so love the last few things i have to show you are from lush so i will just dig them out from down below Go fly, okay. Um. Ah, so this right here is a face mask. It's and I'm gonna show you the name, but it could be to the side, upside down. I don't know what way it is, but it's the mask of Magnamenti. Before Lush raised their prices due to their ingredients and their products being harder to come by. The Magna Minty face mask used to be I think like £12, whereas all the other face masks were like £6. So I never even considered buying a face mask double the price when I could get one a normal price. But now all the face masks are like £7.95, so I thought, why not? I've only used it once, but I love it. It definitely smells like mint, and I love mint. It's... um green in consistency so I like to pretend I'm the Hulk when I wear it and when I wear it it is it tingles like mint and I really really like that I like it when I have something on my face and I feel like it's doing something so really like this this is the small pot the small pot is $7.95 I think there's a bigger pot which is like 14 something but I think this is quite big considering and this is the self-preserving one which has it either has more honey in it or it has honey, honey in it, which is antiseptic. Um, so there is another mask of Magnum Inti that doesn't have honey or less honey in it. So it's literally down to your preference because I did ask the woman and, and she said there's not much difference. It's just a self-preserving one. doesn't need to be refrigerated and the consistency is thicker. Let's go for a kind. Okay. So 
spontaneous purchase. When I went into Lush, I was going into Lush to buy a face mask, a couple of bath bombs, which I'll talk about. But I was not going into Lush to buy this. So this is the American Cream Shower Gel. First of all, this was part of the Valentine's range. But I only bought this last week. And last week was not Valentine's. Like I said, I'm filming this on the 2nd of March. So I don't know if they still have their Valentine's range out, but they did last week, which I thought was strange. Um, also, American Cream, they actually used to, they might still do, have a hair conditioner in Lush called American Cream. I don't really buy Lush hair products because ever since I heard somebody saying that Lush hair products are not friendly to coloured hair, I... I've kind of stayed clear. I mean, if I was to buy a shampoo bar, I might treat myself to, like, using it every now and again, but I w it wouldn't be my only thing to wash my hair with. And American cream, you'd think it smells like American soda, but no, it's a... Uh, hold on, wait till I get a sniff. It's, it's not... This is going to sound really contradictory. It's not my kind of smell. See if this wasn't lush. And I wasn't a lushy, and this was just a general shower gel. I probably wouldn't have bought it because it smells quite lavendery, quite relaxing. But because I am a lushy and it's a new shower gel I've never seen, I'm kind of like, oh, I have to buy that. But it's not an unpleasant. I don't know if I'm trying to justify the fact that I bought it. It's not an unpleasant lavender. It kind of smells like Twilight or the Unicorn Horn. Um, at first I didn't like the Twilight of the Unicorn Horn because of the scent, but I've grown to like some of the lavender scents from Lush. I'm still not a huge fan of French Kiss, but all the other lavender scents, yeah. And this is the medium bottle, which was £7 something. I would always get the medium bottle anyway. They have like a small one, a medium one, and then a huge one, which is like £20. I bought the huge one of Snow Fairy ones. I'm not joking. It lasts about six months. I always buy the medium one because I feel like the small one, it, it's, it's a bit cheeky buying something that small for £4, but the big one is just like a two litre bottle. It's ridiculous. So the medium one makes me feel as if I actually have a decent size. I bought two of these, but I only need to take one out. Again, it's part of the Valentine range. It's a bath bomb and it's called Peachy. So I'll open this one up because there's no need for me to open two. Open it as carefully as possible so that I don't ruin the packaging. Um, I wanted to get this bath bomb because I was in Lush a couple of weeks ago and the woman was raving on about Peachy. And, you know, I love the smell of peach. And I was like to her, can I smell it? And she's like, oh, it's out of stock. So I was actually going to order these online. That's why I've got two, because I thought, oh, they're really popular and I'm going to get two. I was going to order it online, but when I went into the Lush in Livingston, they, they had them in stock. So, yeah, here it is. So it is in the shape of a peach. And I think there's some subtle glitter on it. And then you've got the little kind of green stem bit at the top. And it does smell like peach. It's not the... Oh, I just ate something there. Oh. <laughs> it's not the fake sweet peach smell. Don't get me wrong, I love that smell. It smells like peach juice. You know how when you go to the supermarket and you buy tinned fruit and then you get the juice. So if it was like tinned peaches. Kind of smells like that, which is further proof that there probably is like real peach oil or something in here. So yeah, I've got two of them. Last thing in this bag isn't too interesting, but it wouldn't be a haul if I didn't show the non-interesting stuff. I've also got a, a little tub of vitamins. I think it's vitamin C. I'm not entirely sure. It's like little dissolvable vitamins you put in your water. So it's like plain water, but it makes your water tasty. And this is in the, the taste. I'm not saying fragrance this time. Pomegranate and lime. And I've never had pomegranate and lime because the ones I usually get from Tesco are either raspberry or orange. So when I seen that super drug, which is where I got them, had different flavours, I was like, oh, yes, please. So that is everything for this mini haul. 
it won't be too long till my birthday so I wrote a birthday list and I've asked for a few Disney things so I'm hoping to get a few Disney things and I'm even if I don't I really 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 want to pay a visit to Disney again soon and even if I don't online there's just there's so many things the Disney store's got going on right now. Primark has got nothing going on like well maybe it was a Primark in Livingston but I think I've been to the Primark in Livingston and it was it was okay when me and my mum went there was nothing in it so um, let me know down below what you purchased recently that you can't wait to use or wear or let me know down below um, if your pre-mark is a bit more exciting when it comes to Disney merchandise and I will talk to you again in a future video. Bye guys!